About eight miles outside Gettysburg, you will come across the Cashtown Inn. The Cashtown Inn originally got its name from the first innkeeper who would only accept cash as payment for rooms. The Cashtown Inn became the immediate headquarters for the Confederate officers, including Generals A.P. Hill and Generals Henry Heth. As in this print here, you can still to this day see the same scene and envision in your head the troops marching in. The Cache Town is also popular for all ghost hunters due to the fact that it's one of the most haunted places you can stay. For example, one of the many ghost stories involves the man on the porch here taken in 1895 who is said to roam the halls and occasionally visit the guest rooms. Besides the Cache Town Inn being popular with the spirits and ghosts, during the filming of the movie Gettysburg in 1993, Sam Elliott himself stayed at the Cash Town Inn. And of course, just like the rest of us, he chose the Robert E. Lee Suite as well. The Cash Town Inn just recently went under new ownership and is now operated by the nicest couple, Jeremy and his lovely wife, Danielle. Although the inn is already a beautiful place, Jeremy and Danielle have a lot of ideas to restore the inn to make it its most original form. They both grew up in the Gettysburg area and you can just tell their passion for the inn and the passion for the history. As the sun starts going down and setting in the evening, everything about the inn from the porch, the outside, and the inside just has this overwhelming coziness feeling. But I will remind you that things go bump in the night. And come nightfall, it's a little bit of a different scene. I am now going to take you back to the Robert E. Lee Suite, one of the most haunted rooms in Gettysburg. Here's Jeremy telling you a little story about this room. Now by the second and third day of the war, for the battle, the, every room here had somebody in. They had bodies in the attic, which I argued at the beginning. I'm like, why in the God green earth would you put bodies in the haunted place of the house? It's a lie. They said, it's pretty simple. We didn't have air conditioning, the heat rises. We put them down here, we stunk the whole house up. If we stuck them up there, we don't stunk up the attic. So, That's where I'm staying tonight, isn't it? Oh, where are you at? Robert E. Lee Suite. There you go. Yeah. So, that's cool. There's some, there's some, there, there's, there's quite a few things up there. Yeah. <laughs> there is in the AP Hill as well. Um, we didn't invite mediums here, but we've had a few here. We've had a lot of other people similar, like yourself, that were here. It's so funny because they all start talking about the same thing. During Anic Paranormal's overnight investigation in the Robert E. Lee suite, we had the cat balls go off. We heard footsteps. We heard humming from who we think is Mary, the lady that owned the house who hid up there when the Confederates came. Um, we had a large bang at the same time that the couch shook while we were on it. And later on, while I was watching TV, I had asked whoever to please stop shaking the couch continuously. Um, also in the parlor room down here where you're seeing, we did have the boo bear go off on the table um, a few times. We don't know if it's a little boy. We don't know his name, but supposedly there's a little boy there. And then we got to see the basement too as well. Not going to tell you too much about the basement because we can't give everything away, but maybe Jeremy will show you when you go there to visit. Danielle and Jeremy are the most welcoming, nicest innkeepers ever. They are also very passionate and knowledgeable on the history of their inn. They made us feel like family right from the start, and now Anik Paranormal knows that we always have a home away from home in Gettysburg at the Cash Town Inn, thanks to Danielle and Jeremy. As always, thanks for watching our vid, guys.